Okay, part two. Um, this part I wanted to go over sort of what it, you know, the feel of this from uh, your end using uh, Moodle. So I, I wanted to show you sort of a couple things that can happen if, you know, one if it goes the way it's supposed to and the other one if it doesn't. Um, so let's see. I'm going to go to uh, uh, Kelly's first, Kelly's list. Because there was a girl who had who graduated early that was on her list, and um, so if you if you click on this is one that I I've been dealing with. So uh, same same sort of process. If you click on uh, grade uh, over here, you get the grading window and everything. Place for you to put comments. Okay, uh, you have. No grade, not yet, competent, proficient, distinguished. All right, so actually I'm going to change this to proficient. Um, forgot to go back and uh, take a look at this. So uh, the first time I graded it, um, I asked her to see if she could maybe spruce up her home page, put captions on her photo, and uh, her essay was short. It was only 324 words. Sometimes if I really want to do a word count, I'll just cut and paste into a Microsoft Word document and then use the tools to count the words. So, you know, it takes, you know, 20 seconds. And um, so you can save that and everything. So let me go back to that. So there should be an, a, a link in that grade window. It's also in the, in the last modified column. And if I click on that link, I'm going to go to her portfolio. And I'm just going to expand it here. So um, in her attempt to spruce things up, it sort of made it appear a bit disorganized, but uh, it was actually better than it was. And uh, so one question you get from students and advisory board readers is, is it important that this order over here is uh, uh, in a particular order? And um, the... Uh, I'm sorry, that's my that's my phone you hear in the background maybe. The default when they build these sites is that it puts new pages in alphabetical order based on the title of those pages. Some students have difficulty figuring out how to rearrange those. So it's not a big deal if it's out of order, but uh, when I work with students, I try to you know make it a logical order of the sequence of the project itself, which this one is not in. So uh, I'm going to go, just if I look at the things on the checklist, the first thing I'd be looking for is a proposal, right? And she documented that, cut and pasted it. That was fine. Uh, mentor photo and bio. So she has uh, that and uh, done very well. And uh, mentor meeting log. She used a particular template for this to kind of keep track of this over time. And uh, so this is... Uh, this is good as well. And let's see, uh, project time log. So she uh, put in all of her time here and what she was doing and a description. And her photo journal. Right, and she added captions uh, to these, which uh, really made sense since it's a, uh, a photo journal. Okay. And uh, Let's see, what did I miss here? Product uh, reflection. So this was short uh, at initially, but then she uh, added it. So I, you know, this would be better, I think, if she put the questions in. It would be better if uh, she wrote in paragraphs. It would be better if the font was bigger. Uh, so there's a lot of things that would make this more readable, and um, but you know, sufficient. And then uh, finally, the uh, acknowledgments. Uh, so she thanked Ian and her parents and so forth. I just think that uh, you know students need to be reminded that they need to thank people that helped them out along the way. All right. So that is uh, her. So it's not. Uh, it's uh, what I say. They're proficient. You know, and uh, so it was definitely not a distinguished. Uh, e-portfolio and um, you know it was, it was average so it was proficient you know it was uh, I thought there were some things she could have done better and she did make improvements on some that brought it up to speed 
uh, that she was missing. All right, so everything goes well. That's you know what would happen. Now I'm going to go to Cindy's list, and you'll notice here that uh, Michael Roof uh, submitted uh, an address. So if I go to grade that, I get the window, and I get the link. And when I go to the link, I get this. You need permission to access this item. What this means is that they did not make their website uh, public. Right? There's just one setting in the software that they have to go in and make sure that it's public. All right? So there's a couple ways we can deal with this. You can respond in the window here and saying you need to make your site public. And... Um, but unless they go in and read it and then go do it, there's not an easy way for them to let you know that, that uh, they made it public. Right? The other thing that might happen here, I just thought of it, is that if they type in their link wrong, uh, you know, then you might get a page not found or something like that. If it's, if it's the setting on whether or not it's public or private, you get this message from Google Sites. Probably the best way, if you can't get into a site, is uh, send me a list of names. Um, try not to send me one email per name. That might get a little overwhelming. Uh, but um, a list of names, and then I can go in, and I have access um, uh, either to them or to their site. I have to think about that. I might not have access to their site, but I might. I think I do. Uh, and I can go in and change that setting. Uh, but either way, if you let me know, then I'll take care of it in a timely manner, and you can go back and check them in a, in a couple days or so. Uh, so that's what I would do. Just send me the names. All right. So uh, I mentioned before, if we take a look at a uh, take a look at a calendar, I can find a calendar. I know I got one up here somewhere. Um, let's see, I thought I did. We take a look at a calendar. These are all due on um, April 29th. All right, so let me get a month view here. April 29th, down here at the end of April. So we have spring break, and then uh, April 29th is that last Friday in April. So if we look at uh, the next month, May, um, so that we have all this week to get to these. All right, so try to plan out your, your time that at some point during that week, whoops, sorry about that, um, that you get those read. So remember, May 8th is Mother's Day. So if you are like me and are, would be planning to uh, let them all go to you know, the last day possible on Mother's Day, uh, you might, you know, if you go hang out with your mom that day, you might not get to them. So uh, try to get them all done uh, that week. And, um, you know, and of course, the same problem we have with proposals. Uh, there's some that are going to come in uh, maybe a little late. And a couple of them have permissions. Uh, some of them had things that ended you know, they were doing something with their project that ended, you know, by the 7th or 14th. But our presentations start the 16th. So really, there is a sort of a drop-dead due date for these. If they don't have their project done and their portfolio graded and their mentor evaluation in by the 16th, uh, they can't present. And if they don't present, then they basically wait till the summertime and their diploma is withheld. So uh, I think that is it. Um, I did want to talk about the proposals and get feedback and um, talk about that a little bit, but uh, that's uh, not going to be ne necessary doing this format to have a back and forth. That wouldn't be possible. Uh, so if you have any questions, um, please let me know as soon as possible. And um, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. If you go to the district website, and uh, try to get this in here between, uh, I think I got 15 seconds left. Um, if you go to Senior Project uh, for students, Senior Project, 
There is a showcase deportfolios, portfolios and these are lots of examples from last year. And if you go to this link, it shows you a spreadsheet uh, with all the students uh, when they did their presentation. So uh, just another source if you wanted to take a look at different portfolios. I can't tell you exactly what their grades would be, but it would give you a lot more examples. Uh, so uh, I think hopefully YouTube will let me add this extra uh, 30 seconds to this video. And uh, have a great day, and thanks for all your time and help.